Hey, it's Dave here with Pike Gear. Today we're going to do a little experiment to see how our Kiowa pant fares against being soaked uh, to these other comparable synthetic pants that you might wear in the field. Uh, we're going to give them a good soaking down, uh, kind of like you might get after a real dewy morning or you know, if you hunt it after it rains out. Uh, we want to make sure they get good and soaked and then see how long these pants take to dry under just normal conditions and uh, you guys can stay tuned and kind of watch the results. Okay, uh, we are we've just crossed the half hour mark. We're at 32 minutes uh, in this experiment. And I thought I'd show you the results of kind of where we're at here. Uh, we'll start with this pant here, which is a synthetic upland pant made by, uh, call it brand O. Um, pant's not soaked, but there's definitely quite a bit of moisture in this pant, um, almost all the way up to the knee. Kind of dry in the upper, but from the knee down, still pretty wet, um, you know, definitely heavier. Uh, this pant here, which we'll call brand F, just a good, good moniker for it, but you can see this pant actually retained a lot of water. This is actually a lighter, thinner pant, um, you know, stretch material, but there is a lot of water retained in this pant. Um, you can see the color difference there, that moisture in there. This pant did not dry well at all. And then we have the, uh, the Kiowa Upland Pant from Pike. This pant is 100% dry. Uh, there's no moisture in this whatsoever. Um, the pant's probably been dry for 10 minutes at least, uh, if not more. I haven't been watching, but uh, the time lapse has been running, so you should have been able to see that. This pant is 100% dry. Um, there really is nothing else like this in the upland market today. Go check out the Kiowa pant from Pike Gear.